Hello learners, welcome to NIO studio. Today we are going to discuss Coulomb's law and its representation in the vector form. We will explain the Coulomb's law force between two electric charges and how it can be represented in terms of vectors. Now we come to the definition of Coulomb's law. The Coulomb's law states that the force between two electric charges Q1 and Q2 is directly proportional to the product of two charges that is F is proportional to Q1, Q2. It is inversely proportional to the square of distance between the two charges. If it is R, then we can say that F is proportional to 1 upon R square. It is directed along the line joining the two charges and lastly, the force between two charges will be repulsive if they are like charges and it will be attractive if they are unlike charges. Now we will explain it on the blackboard. Now let us write the Coulomb's law in the mathematical form. F the force between two charges is equal to K Q1 Q2 upon R square. Here K is the constant of proportionality Q1 and Q2 are the two charges and R is the separation between these two charges. Now this constant K has been found to be equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught. Here epsilon naught is the permittivity of free space as the spacing between these two charges Q1 and Q2 is free space or vacuum. If these two charges Q1 and Q2 are kept in a medium, then the force between these two charges can be written as F medium is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon Q1, Q2 upon R square. So, you see when the, we, we write the force between these two charges in a medium, epsilon naught is replaced by epsilon. Here epsilon is the permittivity of that medium and the ratio of epsilon upon epsilon naught is known as epsilon r, the relative permittivity of the medium. It is the relative permittivity is also known as dielectric constant of the medium. We have seen that how we can write the Coulomb's law in the mathematical form. Mathematically, we can write that F in vacuum divided by F in medium that is F upon F naught is equal to ER that is the relative permittivity. Now we will explain the Coulomb's law in the vector form. Let there be two point charges Q1 and Q2. They are separated by a distance R. Let us come to the figure and see how the force take uh, force is the, these two charges, this is charge plus Q1, this is charge plus Q2. Now the force on 1, force on charge 1 due to the charge 2 will be in this direction, means it is from right to left and then the force on charge Q2 will be in the direction from left to right. So F12 and F21, they are in opposite directions. Now if one of the charges is negative charge, means Q1 is positive charge and Q2 is a negative charge, then what happens to the forces between these two charges? Now this is F12, this will be a force of attraction now because the, this is positive charge and this is negative charge, so it will be attracted towards it. So F12 will be in the direction from left to right. And charge negative charge will be attracted by this positive charge. So force on 2 due to this charge 1 will be from right to left. Again you can see that F12 and F21 are oppositely directed. Now we will understand these F1 and F2 in terms of equations. Let us write equations for F12 and F21 in the vector form. F12 force on 1, this subscript 1, 2 denotes that this is the force on charge 1 
due to charge 2. Let us put vector sign on it 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught. They are separated within vacuum. Q1, Q2 upon R12 magnitude square R12 cap with a negative sign. Because you see force on 1 due to 2, R12 is a unit vector, R12, you see there is a cap on this R12 which denotes that R12 is a unit vector and it is directed from charge 1 to charge 2, means its direction is from left to right. You see the direction of F12 now, F12 is directed from right to left. So, the direction of F12 and the direction of R12 are opposite. So, we have introduced here a negative sign. Let us write equation for F21 now. F21 will be equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q1, Q2 upon R12 magnitude square R12 cap. Now, you see the direction of F21. F21 is from left to right. It is from left to right and R12 is also from left to right. So, they are having same direction. So, there is no negative sign. Now, if we compare these two equation F12 and F21, the right hand side of this equation is same except this negative sign. So, we can write F12 is equal to minus F21. Force on 1 due to 2 will be equal and opposite to the force on 2 due to 1. So, now we have clearly understood how the can be explained in the vector form and we have also found that the force on charge 1 due to 2 is equal and opposite to the force on charge due to 1. Today, we have understood what the Coulomb's law is and how it can be represented in the vector form. Thank you.